Limb amputation is a major disruption to both the peripheral and central nervous systems. In the past, using conventional amputation procedures, the central brain representation is dramatically altered after amputation, including a marked reduction in the brain's proprioceptive activity. This means that patients receive less sensory feedback about where their limbs or prostheses are and how they are moving. Recently, we developed the agonist antagonist mild neural interface, a novel amputation procedure and neural interfacing approach that restores natural dynamic muscle interactions within the amputated residuum. In this study, we were interested in comparing biologically intact brains of people who have not had amputations to people's brains who had had an amputation, whether a traditional amputation or the novel Amy amputation. We performed non-invasive brain scanning and compared the changes in the brain, especially in the regions involved with sensory processing, motor planning, and motor execution, to the performance on various sensory and motor tasks. We were really excited to find that patients with an Amy amputation received a similar level of sensory feedback as patients who had never had an amputation. In contrast, we know from prior studies in our own study that patients with traditional amputation receive a reduced level of sensory feedback to the brain. While traditional amputees often have to compensate visually for the lack of sensory feedback from their limbs, we found that in patients with the Amy amputation, the sensory motor cortices were communicating with the visual cortices in a manner that was more similar to subjects without an amputation. These results underscore the importance of novel bionic limb reconstructions that preserve natural neural pathways, enabling the restoration of brain representation and motor function after amputation. Thank you.